In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Revelation chapter 7. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and in front of the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they and where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat upon them nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The Word of the Lord. The Church has always set aside times to remember the faithful who have gone before us to give thanks to God and be encouraged by the divine mercy shown to them and reflected in their lives. The great saints, John and Peter and Mary and Matthew and Paul and so many more, have received days set aside to remember them. Since the, about the 300s, the Christians have also recognized the great cloud of unnamed witnesses. Since the 800s, at least, November 1st has been the commemoration of all saints, the great multitude of countless saints who have been transferred from this life to the church triumphant in heaven that St. John saw and recorded for us in Revelation 7. This glorious vision comforted John, and it's for your comfort too, to lift your heart and draw you above yourself and the struggle here below, up to the throne of Christ, up to rest, to your guaranteed future, your victory, your home. No dying, no crying, just a beautiful bride in the arms of her beloved, there they are, all the saints from Moses to St. Paul to St. Augustine to grandma, brother, daughter, husband, aunt, uncle, and the people who sat in the pew ahead of you. The war is over. They are safe. They are untouchable. They are with Jesus. Who are these in white robes? These are the saints of God, the redeemed of the Lord your brothers and sisters, the Holy Christian Church, the confessors of Christ, all of whom have come from the waters of their baptism, dressed there in white, which is what the Christians confess by dressing in white gowns for holy baptism. They are there having come from hearing of their freedom in the forgiveness of sins through the cross. They are come from being filled with hope at the banquet of Christ's living and real body and blood, come through death with Christ to victory. Which is why you may see a big white cloth called a pall draped over their casket, and maybe even in Christian custom a palm branch placed in their dead hand, because waving a palm branch has long been the symbol of victory, and those of us left behind wish to confess this one is alive, numbered, in that great multitude. She is home. He stands in that white-robed army. The same army of Jesus Christ that you and I stand in, that we have been enlisted in, that we march in. It's the same church. It's just that they're a little ahead of us. 
Thanks be to God for their victory. We miss so many of them so much. For now, we meet this multitude, those we miss, at the Lord's table in communion with him, Jesus, the head. Then we are in communion with them, his saints, his body. In Christ, heaven and earth intersect. It is as our liturgy has it just before we enter the heavenly moment of receiving the body and blood of the Lamb. We join with the multitude. We hear their heavenly song. Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. And there our Lord makes us saints, readies us to depart in peace and victory. Right now we are numbered with them. Soon we join them, all those saints. Soon it is home, it is returned to Eden, it is face to face with God. Could that grace and promise lift your weary heart a little bit today? You know your end. You can see how it all works out. The pain today, the struggle, the frustration, the broken things, they are not the end of your story. They are swallowed up in the victory of the Lamb. Jesus Christ, vic victory has become your victory and your story spills out into the glory of the paradise of the blessed. Where there will be milk and honey, love and joy, wine and oil, feast and worship, rest and light. God himself will wipe away our tears. It looks very good, dear saints. You see the multitude loving it and praising God. You see the spot there just for you. Let us pray. O oh, Almighty God, you have knit your people together in one holy church, the body of Christ our Lord. Grant us grace to follow the example of your blessed saints in lives of faith and willing service, and with them at last inherit the inexpressible joys that you have prepared for those who love you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.